Hey guys, Sark here from Sark e Tech, and in today's video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how to convert uh, your Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus or the Note 10 into a full-fledged gaming console and play any game that you want off of your Android apps right on this large screen using a control to control the actual game. Of course, I'll let you know that you can also play the Fortnite game again with the controller, the phone and the monitor, and it plays at maximum graphics, 60 frames per second, no stutter, no lag. So at the end of the video, I'm also gonna play a little bit Fortnite so you guys can see how it performs. Uh, but let's dive in and get some details about what's happening right now. And I'll let you know, I'll drop a link to all the items you need to get this accomplished. And honestly, you only need two things. You need a controller, and if you have that already, you're fine. This is just a standard Bluetooth controller. It's a very good one, I'm gonna drop a link down below. And the other thing you need is, of course, a monitor. Uh, now, if you have a high definition TV or a computer monitor, anything that has an HDMI input, you're good to go. Okay, so most people have these. But the biggest thing that you're gonna need is this cable right here. So this is a USB type C to HDMI in cable. So this cable is going all around, going into the back of the actual uh, computer right here. So it plugs into the HDMI in port and the other end pl plugs in uh, to the actual smartphone. So once you have this accomplished, you can mirror the screen of your Samsung Note 10 into this large screen or even a high definition TV, a 65 inch TV or whatever. And you can start enjoying any Android game right over here as long as that Android game is supported by a controller as you can see right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the controller, I'm gonna demonstrate how this play game, uh, game plays very well. So as you can see, I can use the controller uh, to move around in the uh, settings of the actual uh, game and the same thing happens here. Now one thing I'll let you know, if you buy this cable, the link is gonna be down below, if you buy this cable and you use the cable to connect the Note 10 to the monitor, uh, what could happen is it could launch the Samsung DeX functionality, okay? So I'm gonna show you that to you right here. So if I pull this down, uh, everything gets mirrored. Everything I do over here is getting mirrored right over here. So over here, as you can see, there's an option that says tap here to switch to Samsung DeX. I can tap on this one and the phone goes back to normal, but this one turns into a full-fledged computer, okay? So this is another option that you do have uh, but in this uh, video, we're talking about screen mirroring, so you can use this fantastic phone as a gaming console. So if you do connect the cable to the monitor, and this is what you end up seeing, all you have to do is go back here, pull down the locations panel. All right, let me just pull that down. Scroll down a little bit, and look for the option that says using Samsung DeX, tap to switch to screen mirroring. So you tap on that, oops, there we go. Let me just expand that. So you tap on this one right over here, and that's gonna switch into screen mirroring from where you can play any game you want uh, on the monitor using the controller as long as the game is compatible with the controller. Of course, you can play the game from here too. If you just wanna hold the phone, use, use it as a controller, and you can just watch the full screen right here. Look at that. Those are gorgeous graphics. It's uh, 60 frames per second. It's 1080p, it looks absolutely stunning. So let me grab this controller and let's uh, play one uh, round of this game on this device so you guys can see how well it in fact plays. Now one more thing I'll let you know is we don't have speakers. If you had speakers on this one, the phone's sound would come through the speakers on the monitor. If you don't have speakers, you can simply connect a Bluetooth uh, speaker, put it right here, or you can plug in uh, speakers into your ears and you'll get everything that's happening in the in there inside your ears. So you can plug in Bluetooth wireless earbuds or headphones to hear the game. But this right here and this cable right here is the most important thing, all right? So links are down below. Let's play one round of this game. Now, real quick, I want you guys to understand that once you have this uh, thing set up, you can simply go into the uh, app drawer here, okay? and you can pick any game that you want right from here. So I have right now only have one game, a couple more are downloading, but if you have any game listed right here, you can just tap on it, it's gonna launch, it's gonna reflect right over here, and you can play any game on the small screen uh, mirrored to the larger screen for maximum fun. And that could be a first person shooter game, it could be a racing game, whatever you want, RPG or whatever. All right, so here's my setup. Let me just go grab the controller and then I'm gonna play using the actual controller so you guys can see how well the whole thing just uh, works together. 
So let's click on play. Let's uh, click one of these races. Uh, let's go down, click the water side, and let the uh, play anyway. All right. And I'll let you know the graphics on this game are stunning on the Note 10 Plus. This is the highest quality, uh, 60 frames per second, no stutter, no lag, as you can see on the screen. All right, so let's, uh, three, two, one, let's get started. All right, so it's going to give us a little bit tutorial, and in the tutorial, it even shows you uh, what buttons to press on the actual controller that's in your hand. All right, so I'm just doing some uh, things that it told me to do. All right, look at that. Beautiful. All right, let's finish this race, number one at least. It's probably the easiest race. All right. Fantastic. All right, get some boost going on with the drifts. All right, looks like we're losing. Not a big deal. I'm just trying to demonstrate how much fun it is to play games on a larger screen with a controller. And I'll, of course, I'll drop the links to that controller and the cable down below. Uh, so in case you, you guys want to replicate this situation, uh, you can do that as well. So there we go. I think I finished number one. Yep. Uh, one, number one. So let's uh, play one more game. Okay, let's just click on next. I'm not going to watch the ad. I'm going to miss out on the ad. Let's click uh, next, next. Let's just play one more round here. Let's go to Himalayas. This is actually a very nice track. All right, choose the same card. That's the only card I have right now. And let's click on play and we are good to go. Okay, so it's loading up. Still got my controller in my hand. This is just great what's happening on the screen. Got a little smartphone sitting on the corner, fully reflecting the entire game. And these these days, the games look amazing uh, on these smartphones. But when you don't have a large screen, uh, that's a slight problem. Okay, so it's it's so much more immersive to do it like this. And again, like I said, you can do a high-definition TV that could be 65 inches as long as it has HDMI in input. That's all you need and the cable that I talked about. Look at that double whammy right there. All right, let's keep going. Uh, that looks like it's gonna be a short course. All right, and looks like we're not gonna be able to finish this at number one, but number two is fine too. So that's uh, Asphalt Legends playing on the screen. Now, like I promised, let's do some Fortnite. So I just launched a brand new game with a brand new account. So it's not gonna be anything fancy. I'm, honestly, I don't play too much. But there's my controller. I'm controlling the guy with the controller. So let's uh, float about on the screen. You can launch the parachute with all the buttons. You just get a, It just takes a couple of seconds to uh, get used to the buttons, which I'm doing right now, actually. So let's, uh, let's see. Let's try to dive down. All right, there we go. So we're going downwards very fast. All right. Of course, we do want to land on, on the land, not in the water. All right, so let me launch my parachute here. What was the button? All right, there we go. Okay, so let's uh, land on the uh, ground and just run around and look at what other people are doing. Like I said, I'm not a big uh, Fortnite guy, uh, guy, but I know a lot of people love to play this game. So that's an option you have using your controller and a larger screen. This also is going to help you uh, score higher because the more you see, the better. The larger the screen the easier it is to see the tiny details. So what's who's that over there? There's some lady going crazy over there. It uh, could be a guy too, by the way. You never know who, who it is. Let's just follow her around, see what she's doing. All right. Is she going to attack me? Nope. All right. What's that? It well, looks like I'm building a wall. So I'm getting used to the controls here. Uh, looks like the wall is being built because I pressed the button. All right. Fantastic, the wall is done. Let's go around and see what else is happening. All right, looks like somebody's shooting at me. All right, I'll probably die. Let me just see if I can increase the uh, the graphics over here. So, okay, so I can change the graphics while the, the game is actually playing while I'm in a match, but uh, that's an option. You can go to the maximum graphics at 60 frames per second. Anyway, going back to the game, looks like somebody's shooting at me and I'm probably going to die. So let's just walk over and get myself killed. There we go. You place number 53 and the person that killed me, let's watch what she's doing over here. 
just running around all right but that's it yeah they basically this video is about me showing you guys the things that are capable that you're capable of doing with your note 10 note 10 plus and the same thing works on the s10 s10 plus so just uh grab the cable links are going to be down below as as well as the actual controller and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something new all right so if you found this video useful make sure to subscribe to Saki tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right. Have a fantastic day.